September 10th is the peak of hurricane season. So after today, can we let our guard down? We talk about it all the time. Of course not. <laughs> Coil and Murphy shows us not so fast. For some, hurricane season is viewed as a mountain with an elevator awaiting on the other side. You climb to the top and it's easy going on the way down. But that's not how it works. It's a bell curve. It's a well-rounded mountain. That's a better way to, to look at this. September 10th is only a threshold. The threat yesterday and the threat tomorrow is the same as today. As a matter of fact, statistically, the threat for tropical systems to impact southeast Louisiana and the Mississippi Gulf Coast goes well beyond this peak day. And it really is. You look at early August through the middle of October, that's when we have the best chance for some of the strongest storms in Louisiana. Tropical development in October may sound rather late, but it's nothing new. As you go back in history, even one documented from the 1500s, which occurred in late October in Louisiana. So we've had about 20 systems in October for uh, our entire state here. So got to be prepared through the whole season. We got a little ways to go. Systems like Danny and Erica had a ways to go when they first developed over 3,000 miles from our coast, giving us plenty of time to watch for changes and to refine our forecasts accordingly. But even with the impacts of El Nino this year, we're not always great. Granted the gift of extra time. History shows us that the best place to look at uh, really lessons learned from hurricanes is to go back in time. We look at Andrew, we look at Betsy, we look at Audrey. There's all sorts of examples of storms impacting Louisiana in El Nino years. So there's really no such thing to me as a busy season or not a busy season. You have to prepare the same as if we were going to be threatened by a hurricane. A season that ends November 30th, but requires preparation year-round. On your side, a meteorologist, Quaylen Murphy, WBSU News.